everybody, this is Ori from Circuit and I'm going to walk you through Mandrill app. So what is Mandrill? Mandrill is a product by MailChimp which allows you to send transactional emails through its system. So anytime your website needs to send an email, a transactional email, for example, new order or a thanks for registering, uh, abandoned car emails, uh, shipment, things like that, uh, you're going to use the system. And the system is very good for deliverability, uh, scalability, it's very easy and there's also reports and, and extra features. So it's a very, very nice service and the uh, pricing is good um, and we use it for a lot of our projects. Okay, So very simple. So once you log in, you go to MailChimp and then through MailChimp you go to the transactional side, you'll arrive to Manual App. Okay, um, so what you basically see is a quick overview in the dashboard of your account overview, your reputation, uh, basically how, how good are you delivering uh, your emails, um, how little uh, spam requests you have, and bounce back, things like that. So we're doing very, very good. Um, and you'll be able to see the monthly sends, and of course you're going to filter here by date. Okay, so you'll be able to see the sending volume, the, you know, a little bit detail in the graphs, um, and some more information about average daily sends, spam complaints, things like that. So if we're, in this case, we're doing very, very good. Um, so it's just a quick overview. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Next one is reports. Um, basically, you'll be able to see, based again on the time frame, the uh, locations that you're delivering to, okay, based on the opens and the click-throughs. And you can see kind of your data, how it actually uh, spans based on these filters, okay? And if you click, for example, on a specific country, you'll be able to see a little bit more information based on states, for example. Okay, great. Um, you'll be able to see your top email clients in your operating system. This is very, very important for you to be able to test out, to know what your clients are using and make sure you test your transactional emails, your email templates to make sure that they display correctly on those browsers, devices, operating systems, resolutions, etc. Okay, very, very important. You can see mobile Safari is a huge, huge one, right? Um, or at least has it and also has very, very high open rates. Okay, great. So um, let's go here. You'll be able to see more detail here. Okay, perfect. Um, so that's basically reports. You can kind of uh, go and use some additional features, for example, comparing stats. So be able to basically go and create new uh, comparisons to actually uh, make different groups of emails and then uh, be able to analyze the data in, in a better way. Okay, very nice. Uh, next one is outbound. So anytime you send an email, the, the, the email, if it was successfully delivered, it will actually, uh, or sorry, if it was requested to be sent, it will actually be tracked here. If it was successfully delivered, you'll also have a copy of that content right here. So this is every single email that gets sent based on your filters, of course, and you can filter time and uh, other things, okay? Uh, in this case, I filtered only self emails because we do not want to show emails to clients and their customer information. So um, if you click on view content, if it was delivered correctly, you'll be able to see some da data. In this case, I made a small window not to show everything there, okay? Perfect. Um, so anything you click on will actually make a filter automatically here based on, you know, from email to etc. Um, you'll also be able to see the amount of opens and click through rates because Mandrill, a very good feature of it is it will track the open rates and the click rates. Very, very important. Okay. Now, if, uh, if you do have a non-deliverable one, maybe a bounce email, an incorrect email or some kind of mail server, you can click and it'll give you a little bit more information why it bounced, maybe a hard bounce or something like that. If your email didn't uh, get delivered, um, then if it'll have, uh, if your email did not get delivered and it continues to have problems or has a very difficult problem with a specific email, your, your specific email that it was sent to will actually go in the blacklist and then you'll have to remove it later. But I'll show you this a little bit later. Okay. Um, so that's, that's basically a quick overview of this part of outbound. Now inbound is the same. If, your customers are actually sending to your specific email and you're using Mandrill to track that, you would set up an inbound, set up your domain, and basically be able to see similar reviews, okay? Or similar data, excuse me. 
Perfect. So this is kind of an overview. You'll be able to actually go and uh, look at all the emails that were sent and actually understand if they're they're being sent correctly. Okay. Perfect. Um, so next one, uh, settings. Okay. So settings, you you'll be able to first uh, receive API keys so you can plug it into your website. Second of all, you you'll need to actually verify your domain. And the reason you need to verify your domain is you need to authorize Mandrill to send on your behalf, on behalf of your domain. So if you, in order to actually start sending, this is basically the first thing you need to do. You need to verify your email on your domain, just send an email, click on the link, and you're going to need to verify these two DNS settings. So all you have to do is just click here, it'll provide you the data, and then have your DNS guy or girl um, actually go and, and fill that out. Okay, once you do that, you're going to click on the links and it'll verify. Okay, great. Um, and uh, what I mentioned before about blacklists is if you do have emails you're sending to that keep on get rejected or have a very uh, big problem, they'll go in the blacklist. And if they go in the blacklist, Mandrill will not send to that anymore. So what you want to do is occasionally review the blacklist and make sure you have the correct emails there and remove the ones that are not supposed to be there. Okay, you can also look at some logs and set up web webhooks in order to send additional information on Mandrill sending to your web application if needed. Okay, um, and then the, the last thing is basically account. You'll be able to manage your specific account, your login, additional users, things like that. So this is a quick overview. If you have specific uh, questions about anything about Mandrill, I'll be happy to try to help, ask me questions, and we'll try to create more articles in the future. Thank you.